this is going to be the first part to Skyward Sword HD. Hope everybody's looking forward to this. I'm going to show show everybody my pair of Joy Cons. I got. I was fortunate enough to get that today. Pretty exciting. Let's get them in place. Here, here they are. That's my right one. That's my left one. They're very excited to get them. Wow crazy experience to get what, what I went through but I was fortunate I ended up getting them so we will be able to use them for Zelda let me just get the wrist straps on and we'll be good to go let me get this into my hand there we go then I just gotta tighten that up just don't wanna because I, I wouldn't do it with the Wii remote per se have to use the wrist strap but I feel more comfortable doing it with the Switch ones just because if I'm going to be swinging, I'm going to be playing motion controls. And so I feel like they're, they're smaller and I just maybe a little bit slipperier, or slipperier. So I just would rather not take a risk at potentially throwing the controller or having issues. So, yeah. But there we go. Got them tightened up. Should be good to go. Time to set off on our adventure. Here we go. Hope everybody is excited as I am for this wonderful experience. And here we go. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I will say it already absolutely beautiful I did get to play a little bit of it before I played it 51 minutes and 41 minutes on two separate accounts I kind of like st got to start I wanted to start a playthrough where I play on my own offline and I started a playthrough where I played with my mom watching so but I'm gonna do a new we'll do a new adventure I'm gonna call it this one a dog I think that's where I think that would be a happy medium I think that's what I'm going to call this one. I figure why not. got my computer up and running to a degree so yeah, yeah it's good to have a backup Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword yay yeah there we go <laughs> oh yes I'm so excited every time I see it too Oh, it's so breathtakingly beautiful. The visuals are unbelievable. Yes. Oh my gosh. It hits you right away. I mean, this game was already a really beautiful looking game on the Wii as it was, but oh my gosh. <laughs> It's just so much better on here. It really makes a difference between AV and HD. Well, HD. Yeah. I mean, that's rather obvious, but just with this game, too, visually, it's just unbelievable. And how smooth it's running. That's the other thing. I'm looking very much looking forward to this constant 60 frames per second as well. But yeah, this is our first, I think, official. Well, no, I guess we did some Phantom Hourglass, 
But other than some of Phantom Hourglass, this is going to be our first, I think, full playthrough Zelda game on the channel. And for sure, the first 3D Zelda game. So, Rise A Dog, the time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. A Dog. <laughs> Falls out of his bed. That's wonderful. <laughs> right in the face. Hey, sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning, did I guess right? Rise and shine, eh, dog? Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You'd better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, the, music. the music's also so brilliant in this game. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, how did I forget to grab the ruby out of the... I, well, I'm, I'll go back and grab the ruby. I think it's five rubies. Yeah, let's grab it out of the here. That's yeah, five rubies, yep. Blue ruby. Nice. Okay. One of the nice things about this Zelda game is that for the most part it pretty much fixed so now if I get a blue ruby after quitting out and starting the next time it fixed the issue with um, where it would pop up every time you restarted it would like show oh he got a blue ruby they did away with that so they fixed that issue with the game and add but yeah it was a rather minor thing but I'm glad that they, any little thing is never a bad thing We'll save our game for the first time here. Even though I know it does have an auto save feature. We'll do that so that way we can select the file that we'll be saving on the third file. So there we go. Horwell, hey dog up here. Instructor Horwell. Hmm. Good morning to you, hey dog. Today's finally the day of the long awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remember there's something I'd li like to ask you about. That's another thing I just noticed that was brand new. In the original, you um, never had names over who was talking. So it's kind of nice that the name is there now. Kind of like expresses that a little bit better of who is talking. I like that. And then, but also for characters that, from my, from my understanding, at least I don't know yet for sure, for characters that are not... Um, that you don't know who they would be, it doesn't spoil it, so, from my understanding. Target me and we can have a quick chat. Thanks, I always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Oh, graphically just phenomenal. Oh my gosh. So what are you up to rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Ada? Oh, you have someone to meet. Ah. Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gopora, has a pet named Mia. And, well, she's scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? The Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start, and I just... 
on a, a fresh set of clothes and while you see will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me I'm on it fantastic so you'll do it I know you're in a hurry so I really appreciate your taking the time to help you should be able to climb up somewhere over there if you hang off the, that ledge hey world world's maple syrup thanks so much for the follow do you have a specific name you want me to call you? And I also love the emote, the hearty emote. It's really cool. I love, I love Skyward Sword, so I'm pretty hyped that I'm going through. This is my first playthrough on stream, at least. So this is pretty cool. But yeah, let me know if you have a specific name you like. You want me to call you like? Do you want me to just call you Maple or however, whatever works best? But yeah, well, welcome in. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there if you hang off that ledge there. You can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. I love that the controls are still this very, very similar to how they were basically very much the same to um, on the Wii. My bad. Grab that. There we go. Push it. There we go. Go grab the cat. Bring the cat. The evil cat. <laughs> nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy. You dug. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this or don't tell the others. Oh, a red ruby. Nice, I got 20 rubies. Pat, <laughs> don't spend it all in one place. We're going to save our game right here. I do love one of, the, one of the special touches on the autosave system. I have noticed it. For anybody that has already seen Skyward Sword, I'm not going to say anything about that. Because I do know it could be a spoiler for later in the game, but I do know what th those th 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 what those symbols are in the auto for the auto save. I love it, and I've noticed that it switches between all three. Morning, a dog. How is life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? I'm just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. Yep, we already know that. <laughs> As you know, those bird statues are all over Skylock. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. My prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. So far, I've not been able to get the amiibo, unfortunately. The Zelda and, and um, yeah, the Zelda, and, the Zelda one and her, um, how it's Skyloft, yeah, Zelda and Skyloft, yeah, amiibo. I've not been able to get it, but I um, do plan on trying to get it when I've heard that they, there might be more in August, possibly. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Zelda. 
The song is so beautiful. All youth guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, bring light to the land. That's such a beautiful song. Hey, good morning, hey dog. I'm glad to see my law firm got you out of bed. Oh, hey, Sakano. Okay. Do you want me to call you Sakano or? Interesting. So you changed your name now. Do you or do you want me to call you by the name you have currently, or do you want me to just call you Hood? Sakano. Okay. I'll try my best to remember if I can. But yeah, welcome back. Welcome in, Sakano. How have you been? I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. But look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Oh, okay, I see what happened. Okay. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one of the goddess who goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. I look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a gray goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Adog. So how do I look? Great. Ha! I think so, too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Adog. Ah, oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Kapora. Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Adok, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up sort of given your capacity for sleep, no doubt. Today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, You'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Adog hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his Lofwing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Adog and his Lofwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, as you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Lofwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Lofwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Adog and his Lofwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson Lofwing. It is a breed so rare, we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Adog and that Lofwing of his uh, first met? What a sight! The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship 
he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. <laughs> ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Adog and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Adog doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Adog messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about a dog. Listen, a dog, you better fly your heart out today at the very least. You need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Here we are. Go on now, jump off the, the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Mm, oh, yeah. You can't sense your bird out there. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go. <laughs> okay, now go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. Problem in the loft wing ain't coming. Mm, his bird sure is taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong. Hang in there, A-Dog. Hey I've got you. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, eh, Doug? What could have possibly happened to your lock wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, eh Doug? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Hey Doug, when you said you couldn't sense your off wing well, I should have I should have believed you, I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own off wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly this year, Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Hey, Doug, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. But, Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Adog hey, asks Instructor Horrell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, quite true, as usual. You make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation. Him and myself, a dog, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Here we go. Oh, that was close. Is something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw him. Bruce's bird was chasing off after your feather fell off. Where's Bruce? Oh, Bruce and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. Oh, you're still trying to get down to the south end? That mark on your map, that's the, pla the plaza. 
It's where they're holding the wing ceremony today, so you'll definitely want to find it before too long. So my guess is they might be in the plaza. Normally the fastest way there is just down this path. But this gate here still needs some work before I open. Can you go around through the academy? Remember to check the map with... What's wrong, you know, You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now. How will you, how will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather. Or not, you can find that bird on time. <laughs> Excuse me. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then. I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your lawful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's save it one more time. Hold up, hey dog. Hey, hey, hey dog. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing dash, then when you're in front of the tree, bam, do a roll right into it. So come on, please. Whoa! Golly. <laughs> you did it, a sky stag beetle. Wait up! <laughs> Stretch, you know, Bruce, th that sure was a pain. What, will all, wh what with all the scratching and pecking? Of course it was. You thought a big crimson laughing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him. I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa! Hey dog, so, um, yeah, just how long you've been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it, you're here to talk about today's race. I can see it is it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Bruce, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please. You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up in the Statue of the Goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. <laughs> Groose is being a little cocky. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can imagine what could have happened. Tim, do you think this tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Bring it on. Sure, only thing is I don't know how you're going to do that. No bird, you're, you're going to grow wings? You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal, it doesn't change the fact that you're, you float your life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a back already? Dopes like you are dragging our honor academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Bruce? Oh, Zelda, hey, nah, it's a... Uh... <laughs> Don't even try it, Bruce. You're picking on Adog again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. 
You suppose, suppose what? I suppose you are... Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything. Okay. Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, a dog. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that word or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your loft wing's disappearance. Hey dog, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of that of your bird. Yep. Father said he talked to Instructor Horal about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. So at this point in time, I know the control well, so. But I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna talk to this person. What's wrong, you dog? What your loft wing is missing. That's terrible. I was so looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Okay, that's fine. We'll head over here, save our game. Over here. I have some information about your life. And come over here. Hey, dog. I was just looking for you. I heard your life has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. Hey, get this. When I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm so sorry, Ada. I really wanted to tell you, but if Cruz found out, I told you. It sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago when I was cleaning the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there. I started talking about their plan to hide your lawful. I wanted to warn you, Adog, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture a bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it right there, I think. It means the waterfall marked with here with us. Forgive me, a dog. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Now we're going to the sparring hall. And here we can get our swords, so... May as well, yep. We have to go do that first. Got my practice sword. One of the nice little oh, one of the nice little additions that um they added to Skyward Sword H D is the fact that you don't have to do training. You could do the training, or you can just run right to the door and skip it. Hey, Edo. You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? 
Yeah, I figured it was thing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords, so I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy up there. I don't want to get into it or get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside with that, with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Yep. So, in the Wii version, you would not have been able to skip training. You would have had to do it. It required you to do the training. Fortunately, they don't require it in the, um, in this version. Which is definitely pretty nice. Saves a bit of time. I definitely, up to this point, definitely feel this will be the optimal speedrun version of the game. Look at Rusta, his name is. Look at this thing. Who knows how long this statue has been here? And it only has one eye. Poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press to look around. Oh, up. Yeah, up to look around. On the D-pad. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's missing the other eye. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Now I see something right there. Yep. He sees a vision of his loft wing. What does it say? Waterfall cave. Okay, beware of blood sucking monsters. No kids allowed. on that chest otherwise it's interesting. <laughs> My first bit of jelly blob.
I'm just saying, I don't remember. Maybe you might have been able to on the Wii, I don't remember. But were you, able to, were you able to crawl faster by holding the B button? That's something I don't remember. But it might have been possible. Okay, we reached a save point. Hey dog! Hey dog, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching for your birds around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll, we'll find something there. Hmm? Who was that? Who was calling for me? Oh, sorry, you don't. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Look, like, there he is. No doubt about it. That's your loft when you need on. Got him. We should hurry, Ada. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. The music is just so beautiful in this game. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I, I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's a strange feeling, almost like something is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below someday. I want to see for myself. Sorry, you don't, you don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press the down. Yep, too. don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. There we go. Here we go. Time to fly my loft wing. Woo! You can fly your bird in any direction when it faces upward, it'll slow and it'll speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude, then drop into a fast dive. Yeah, I think 
he's falling open. All right, you're off for you can press this at any time to go over to the base of the control zone. You can also charge. Attack that also gives you a burst of speed as well as slow down when you need to. I don't know about you, Ada, but your Lofwing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. Your Lofwing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. If it is an A dog. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell the time. All the pre race worlds me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. And they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flight gets special treatment. You're almost a man and yet you still. Can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. Bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Uh, you think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? This has been going on forever. How about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pop door in a ruffle about her. Dirty hair. Her. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let her let some scrawny clown Snatch that price from us, her for me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. Duh, ha ha. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having her moment. Oh, it's so real. I can, I can see it. Duh, duh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Gross. Psst, gross. Behind you. Right behind you. What can you two see I'm in the middle of? <laughs> Not good. Gah. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just... Hey dog, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyway, I'll later, Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Chris, wait up. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way. Don't let those fools get you down, eh, dog. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Yeah. That's the spirit, eh, dog. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, eh, dog. There we go. Time for the race. Hey. 
your attention please at last we are ready to begin the wing ceremony I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without a dog but luckily that is no longer a concern I'm glad you could all make it before we start I'll explain the rules for today's competition I have attached a small uh, statuette to this bird who I will then release to the skies I might see no dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge once you are in the air mount your loft wing remember to call your bird promptly with that yep once you dive off the edge whoever catches the bird and claims the statue will be this year's champion those are the rules simple enough I should think but do you need to hear them again nope excellent as you well know today's champion will graduate to the next class bringing him one step closer to knighthood he will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual today is a special day for many reasons but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all not well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. <laughs> that goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. Go. Oh, my loft wing, here we go, loft wing, let's get it. Okay, here we go. Okay, first one down. Yeah, the controls are really good. Um, for further motion controls, this is amazing. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, controls really well. I have to say. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with your with egg in it on your face. I won already. <laughs> nice little, um, if you time it just right, you can just catch it that quickly. <laughs> Coming around, I had figured that out a while back. <laughs> but yep, I got the bird statuette. Yep, it proved my victory today. Yo! Hey, dog! Never even had to compete with Bruce, barely. <laughs> it's over so fast. Princess Zelda. Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, eh, dog? Congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Hey, dog, hand me that bird statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. This song is so beautiful. Oh, I love the harp. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. The 
blessings of the gods drip down from the heavens aloft a sail which I now pass on to you. Yep, I got the sail caught now. It's possible to. <laughs> Hey Doc, quick goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave this alcohol to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this alcohol in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Ado. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Ado. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? <laughs> uh oh. And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Ada. I knew it. I'd get a funny reaction. You have to jump off the statue. Look down, see that big brown design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here right before you hit the ground. Press that to open your cell phone. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you wait until the last second to use your side of so ready to jump. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know if it worked. Oh, maybe it worked. That was perfect. You're amazing, you know. That went way better than I was expecting. <laughs> You know, a duck scene is how you won today. And with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Oh my, here we go. Hey dog! Today was amazing watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. You know, hey dog. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh. Not good. What is that? I know you knew nothing could come at this point. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, going on this ride. <laughs> I thought we said nothing good was going to come from it. Ah, you know. Hey dog. Yeah, I really like Fi. I know a lot of people didn't, but I actually really do like Fi. I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Hey dog. It's crazy. Ah, you wait.
When your offering carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries for that much. We can be grateful. But Ada, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? A black tornado, you say? Hmm, that was no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? I see. She was talking about the service then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her law family, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Ada. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. when we meet five yep okay don't think there's anything in here but we can always check yeah no we did refill the five rubies not bad well, that'd be helpful later so that's good maybe this is a different room I'm not sure there she is five Is this? This is my room. Okay. Cool. Hey Shadow, how are you doing? It's good seeing you. How have your streams been recently? It's been a while since I've been able to stop in. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Ah, okay. What were you streaming, or at least what were you trying to stream? Yeah, sometimes that happens, unfortunately. Sometimes it could be the internet connection. You never know. I've had that experience as well. Oh, Far Cry New Dawn and Fall Guys? Okay. Well, hopefully the next time it'll work better. Wow. 
Wow, I'm so lucky I crabbed that ledge. I love that you can move the camera that way. Have I played the Hyrule Warriors games? Ye a bit. I played the, the first one a little bit, never beat it. And didn't get very far into it. But I do want to come back to it at some point because I did get it for Christmas. I got that one and I also got the second one as well. The uh, prequel, technically, to Breath of the Wild. I got both. So I, plan on, I do plan on streaming them at some point. Yeah, I think they, that'd be fun. I wish they had online multiplayer, though. That's the thing. I really wish they had, like, an online co-op. Yeah. I really do wish they had an I know they have a co-op. In-person co-op, but I wish they had an online co-op. Oh, now this has me excited. Grabbing the sword out, this is going to be fun. To see how it'll be like on the Switch. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will pay a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the, er, the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, a dog, you must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To min minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Time to get the Skyward Sword out. Which is technically the Master Sword before the Master Sword, so this is pretty cool. Ready the stance. <laughs> there we go, got it. That is so cool. Now I can do Skyward Strikes. You got the Goddess Sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, Master. Hey, dog, my master. Dog. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, 
otherworldly light. At first I was sure. I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, who one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah yes, the, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. And it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds through the vast realm of the surface. It is only the, through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, eh, dog. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. A tablet. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Got the emerald tablet. Tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the cross sitting in this room with a scoured strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade. Face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. There we Sit in the tablet. There we go. It'll open up an area in the clouds. Master Edog, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press that to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Now listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this Fai says is true, Zelda is alive, alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. 
Should you need heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, a dog, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring me her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. You do your people proud, eh, dog? Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for us, for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Adog, and those are close, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. Here we go. Time to get my new outfit. Yep. Should look pretty familiar to anybody that's a Zelda fan. <coughs> We're in the tunic. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Here we go. Is this another five rubies? Not, nothing. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I was gonna say. Hey, dog. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Oh, I got the adventure pouch. That's wrong. That'll be very helpful. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in, in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on an adventure. Hey, Doc, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. So she does still tell you that there. <laughs> That's no problem though. Yeah. We're heading to the bazaar anyways right now. Time to head into the bazaar. Love it. Yeah, the bazaar is so funny. Huh. 
I'm okay for now. I would rather go talk to you. Hey, you there. Yes, you. Oh, but the adorable eye with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to develop your heart. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Let me tell you. One look at you, and I can tell you'll need my potions by, by the color of hole. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle on to pour it into. For some reason, I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle. I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often. But you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Got an empty bottle. like to buy. Well, I already know what I would like to buy. Let's tell me I got a bottle. That's a bad a heart potion. Drink this dear and over pine yep, eight hearts. Why don't you pick up some for your him? Yeah, I'm buying it. Yep, eight hearts. Yep. Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. Ah, that's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. Scatter though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for. Could you ever scared of vibrant? I love it. <laughs> uh. So at this point in time, that's pretty much all you really can do there. Seamless transitions are amazing. This seems like a good time to save the game. As soon as we land in, in here, I think, and we uh, get a save point, we're going to call it. Yeah, I'll pick it up tomorrow. We'll pick up some more with some more Zelda tomorrow. But I think this is, this is a good point to... Oh, that's weird. So it's the ZR. That is really weird. And then I got to like point. Towards the side way I fall in. I guess. And how long am I going to fall? There we go. I was going to say. How high was I up in the air? That was weird. Here we go. Master Ada, we've arrived. This is the fable service that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Seal Grounds. The Seal Grounds.
Please proceed with caution, Master. Can't even touch this stone yet. New enemy type. Got him. Got him. Nice. That went well. It's working really well. Motion controls are feeling so good in this game. It's quite incredible. Yeah, I would say that the motion controls are even more spot on. They're much more spot on than they even were on the Wii. I I can't recommend enough playing this game in motion good with motion controls, not hand. Don't do it with, like, unless you want to play it on the go for that reason. That would be the only reason I would say to use button controls. At least from my experience so far. I played a bit with both. And I will say the button controls feel pretty awkward. At least doing spin attacks and the other one. Doing the like spin attacks and doing like the fatal blow and things like that feel very weird. They're just not natural. It's not a natural feel. Okay. So if we can find a save point, we will save our game, but I have yet to find one. So I think we're going to have to go down below before we were put there. That's what it's seeming like. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your skyward strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dousing. Would you like to explain that? Would you like me to explain this process to you? I know how dousing works already, so that's all good. Understood, Master? That and I do like the dialogue options, that's not bad. Hold that and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Not bad, okay, and so then I can just point, okay, so I can just center that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, pretty much that way.
we'll be going on a raid tonight, so if anybody has enough channel points to recommend someone for the uh, for, for a raid, um, let me know. Otherwise, I'll find someone to raid. Oh, what do I think of this game? I think it's amazing. I'm loving it. Yeah, this is going to be the end of our, uh, for tonight, though. I'll be back to it again tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I've am i always loved this game, though. I will say I'm really loving the remake. I will say that. It's even better than what it was on the um, Wii, but I I always loved it on the Wii as well. So, I mean, it was a t it's a top five Zelda game for me of all time. So, I kind of knew going in. That I was gonna really like it. Take the wrist straps off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have always, always loved uh, Skyward Sword. My f absolute favorite of all time is Twilight Princess, though. But yeah, I would highly recommend this one though because this one did get a. I know this one got a lot of people that didn't like it, and I never understood that. Never understood why because of how good this game really is. Yeah, that's something I never quite understood why that was. But. Yeah, take the wrist straps off. There we go. Okay. So. Thanks everybody for coming out tonight. It was a really good stream. For anybody that's still here, and if anybody does not already know, I figured I would put in a link here. Um, yeah, it does still. Okay, so there's my link to my merchandise in case anybody wants to check that out. I, um, have some like I think I have a hoodie on there and a few other things but yeah in case yeah, anyone wants to check that out but otherwise I'll find someone to raid um, Actually, hmm. Maybe I need to type in the whole thing. Oh, that was my bad, sorry. Because I just noticed that it put it in wrong. Yeah. There it is. That's correct. Okay. Well, we'll find someone to read. Let's see who. Let's see who is currently on right now. Oh, we'll give him a raid. He 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 he's a good friend of mine. I haven't raided him in a little bit, so yeah, we'll go. We'll give a raid to Red. Thanks everybody for stopping in. 
I will be back again tomorrow. We'll be continuing some more Skyward Sword HD as well as we'll be continuing Mario Super Soldiers as well. Or the DK Wallace will play another match tomorrow night as well. Or tomorrow at some point. So, yep. Uh, good night, everybody, though. See you then.